Hello everybody, it's me Reality here once again, and welcome back, woohoo, to another figure unboxing. This is part of our May 2019 loot haul. This is Blackheart, aka Noir, yes. Held a quick impromptu poll on Discord, and she was voted for, but yes. Anyways, as you can see, I have her goddess form, Blackheart, out from Malter, and I have uh, Nep out in her dress by Wing. Because this is Blackheart in her dress. So yeah, Blackheart dress version. She is a non-scale figure manufactured by Union Creative. Uh, looking at her, I'm going to say about a 1 7 scale. Uh, she is from Hyperdimension Nep Neptunia, or some iteration of that. This one, it says the animation, but they all say that. Uh, so Blackheart was supposed to have been released back in March, but she got delayed, of course, and Union Creative just keeps their lips shut until the figure actually shows up in store, so we were crossing our fingers that she would come out. She finally released on May 28th of 2019. She held up this damn haul. <laughs> uh, I ordered her back on November 8th of 2018, and she's the cheapest one of this haul, but not cheap as a... Uh, it's not quite the word I, you should use for her. She was 13400 yen, or $126.89. So we'll move the comparison figures off to the side. And we'll do a spin round. So there is the front of Blackheart. There is the side of her. And there is the back with a couple promo shots and all the informations and phone numbers and whatnot. And there is the other side of her box. There is the top of Noir's box. And she has a pretty boring bottom. Uh, it's kind of like a marble pattern. So yay. Let's get her open. Yay. I lucked out because I didn't have to track her down. See, I was lucky in that I was home this time. I had to come home for some other reason for, during lunch. And... I just happened to stay just long enough for the mail lady to show up. Otherwise, I would have had to track her down again. So pull her out. And the inside of the box, it's just got that, you know, marble pattern insert. And it's kind of folded in on itself on the top, so it's a little more sturdy. Let's go ahead and put that box off to the side. And there is Noir in her blister packaging. And her base is clear. It's not black. Not a black triangle, which... Uh, Union Creative is known for. But yeah, bring her a little bit closer. And she's got a nice smile on her face. Happy looking girl. And it's a pretty uh, good size uh, package for her. It's not overly big, but it's not too small either. And it'll be nice to get some, uh, some shots of her from angles that Union Creative just refused to show us. So let's uh, go ahead and finish opening her now. Got some tape on the sides. And we'll pop this open. A pretty easy blister to open this time. And we have Lars base. So it's not very exciting. As I said, it is a clear circle. It's got some rigid supports in there and it's got some holes for her feet. Uh, copyright 2013 IF uh, China NP CHNP Pile Heart and I don't know what NP is but yeah so she's also a relatively simple figure so it's just her and the base there was a piece of extra plastic in there she is basically it looks like in a plastic Nope, I was going to say plastic bag, but it's just a piece of plastic foil wrapped all around her. And that appears to be all the plastic. So this may be a super quick unboxing. So there is Noir's beautiful face. Blackheart, Noir, whatever. Uh, she does have a little bit of blush on her cheeks. Nice smile on her mouth, a nice little nose little bit of crud on her shoulder. 
She does have her silver and black hair ornaments and her long mane of white hair. Uh, she does have some cleavage hiding in there under her hair. She is wearing a necklace with the similar silver square diamond ornament on it. Usually not a fan of the transparent black uh, plastic that they use to indicate, you know, transparent lacy stuff. And, yeah, still not the greatest fan of it, but it looks okay. Uh... So, important question, the answer is black, obviously. She has some nice uh, high heel shoes on with the pegs on her feet. So that's nice. A uh, hand resting on her leg. All the fingers are individually sculpted, very nice. She's wearing elbow length gloves. And again, the other hand resting on her hip. Up, oh, middle and ring finger, one. Always see that. But you do see some wrinklings in the glove around her thumb area, so that's nice. Uh, the seam lines on the side of her dress, fairly thick and obvious, but doesn't look horrible. Uh, you can see a little bit of shininess, a couple splotches there. Could just be something from me, could be from the factory. It is what it is. Uh, Backwise. She's got a spine line. She does have shoulder blades hiding under that uh, clear shawl or smoky shawl. It hides a lot of the details. Um, we've got an extra glued on piece of hair there, but it's done very well. You can barely even notice it. Usually it's super obvious. But yeah. Overall, I say pretty decent quality, except for just couple of spots where it's a little bit shiny on her dress and as I said she has breasts they're not oversized or anything try to get a funny angle see the under boobs or the cleavage or whatever honestly for the Neptunia series they are relatively you know normal human sized boobs so that's nice okay now to get her on the base she is kind of pigeon-toed, and I just noticed she has little silver buckles on her shoes. So, okay. Have to spread her legs just a little bit. And get her into the base. And there we go. Bring closer and tilt down. Try to get her completely in frame. There we go. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and do a nice little spin around of her. Yeah, overall, I think she's done pretty nicely. I like her. She's got her, she has her power button eyes. I mean, it, it is a simple figure. I mean, it's an evening gown dress, so simple one piece dress with a couple clear plastic pieces like the skirt and the shawl. And it is split in the center. So if she was standing straight up, you could see between her legs. And I like how the little uh, solid piece actually hangs over the clear plastic piece a little bit. Gives it a little bit more depth. So overall, not a perfect job. But not horrible either. I'm... I don't usually give ratings during these, but I'm going to just throw one out. First initial impressions, I'm going to say 8. Because the sculpt is nice. The, it's just the you know final finish on the paint's a little bit meh. But it's good. It's not bad. So, comparison time. So, first we'll do the uh, goddesses and their gowns. So, Nep is a 1 7 scale figure. Noir is a non scale. So, height wise, definitely fits. But I think uh, they made Nep's head maybe a little bit too small because Noir's is bigger. But yeah, they go together pretty nicely. Yep. Nice dresses. 
So now we'll move Nep off to the side. And we shall compare the two black cards. Yeah. Try to get her up here without things falling off. So this is Alter's version of Blackheart, and she, again, is a 1-7 scale figure. So feature-wise, like body type-wise, Alter's is maybe a little bit on the larger side. But face-wise, I'd say pretty close. Yeah, overall, they're really close. So I definitely, even though she is a non-scale, I do say she would fit in very well with 1 sevenths. But yeah, they go together very nicely. And as you can see, Noir, even though Noir herself has the biggest chest of them, well, if you don't count there, but her in the goddess form, she does have, you know, normal human-sized boobs. So it makes sense that there are normal human-sized boobs on both versions. So yeah, that is Black Heart. So we'll put her back off to the side, and we'll close off the video. Put her back in the center. Uh, this is Noir, a.k.a. Black Heart, in her evening gown dress. She is from Hyperdimension Neptunia, one of the variations of it. Uh, the box says the animation. Uh, she is a non-scale figure manufactured by Union Creative. She was supposed to come out in March, but finally released on May 28th of 2019. Uh, I ordered her on November 8th of 2018. There was no hesitation. And I paid 13,400 yen, or $126.89. So yeah, I like her. I'm happy. If you like uh, Neptunia or Noir, or Blackheart, I'd say go for it. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. I'm out. Bye-bye.